fun today. I promise. I. It's weird. Some days I feel so energetic and hyped up. And today I feel like that. And everything, I mean, everything's going great. But it's, it's weird. I don't know if anybody else has ever felt like this, but uh, like having a, being in um, frequency or in tune with stuff. And I'm feeling a little bit off tune. I don't know if, if I need to like tune myself back into right frequency or whatever, but anyway, I'm um, just saying that this, uh, for no reason, because I wanted to say it, I suppose. Uh, so today, we're going to be getting into chapter three, buckaroo. Um, so a recap, so now our main character, our hero, uh, Sir Aegeon, he had lost his legs, had him cut off, stabbed to the heart, dead, come back to life, finds out he has been enchanted by a magical sword uh, that was made by Merlin that now gives him super strength, even though he's dead, doesn't have a heartbeat, um, and he has no legs. So, Seems like it would suck, but he's doing. I think he's doing pretty good. Last we left off, he was cleaning up the castle, which was filthy, and um, excited to see where the story goes. I know where it goes. I wrote it, and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Please tell me if you are, and tell me if you aren't, because uh, <laughs> that's why. Um. Anyway, so. Chapter 3 is titled, Taco Tuesday, Two Weeks Later. So this is two weeks after Chapter 2. <clears throat> I'll probably be drinking some of this too. Uh, it's an energy drink. Because I'm tired. I know. It's <laughs> very professional. Don't worry, I have water too. This isn't sponsored by anybody, but it never hurts to get it. Maybe they'll send me something when four people watch this. You know, I've been wanting to do stand-up. I've been thinking about it. I suck at telling jokes. Like, I don't even have any jokes. Well, actually, I do have some jokes I wrote down. I'm going way off topic here. Let's see. Maybe I can write a joke or tell a joke. Huh? Maybe that would be funny. Now it's just you watching me read some crap I wrote down. Um, this is something I wrote. So I love fantasy and magic, and all this make-believe alien zombie shit, right? And I know it seems, it stems from a place of hate for anything real and absurd. And an absurd amount of laziness. Like, magic is really just a lazy man's fantasy. You just point a stick at something and turn it into what you want, or make it fly to you. I mean, that that's a fucking remote control, right? Who are we kidding? If there ever were wizards or witches, they all, they all died from heart disease because they were never moved, and they are always eating cakes and drink butter beers. Not a healthy lifestyle. I mean, even their sports involve them being dragged around by their flying brooms. And zombie and alien apocalypse is like my favorite fantasy because I wouldn't have to worry about getting a job or if I offended... Um, if I offended someone earlier, or sit in trap, I don't even know what I wrote there. See, comedy. <laughs> Please enjoy this great comedy that I'm telling you, people. Um. So this is stuff I should probably work on <laughs> before just throwing it out there. Okay, I love to play video games. They really fulfill that eternal need to pretend to be an NFL quarterback or a floating Japanese half-robot, half-woman samurai. You know, it, you know, it really scratches the itch. 
one thing I hate about video games is how much I, I suck at them. I mean, I get destroyed by all these little kids that are so good at virtually shooting me in the head, I want to shoot myself. I invest so much time in trying to kill people online, it really makes me wonder if I should just try it in real life. Oh, I'm just kidding. That's a, that's a joke. You know, these games are really training a new generation of soldiers. The military will be made up of aut autonomous robots and remote-controlled ones, and the soldiers will literally be playing video games in real life. My favorite game, though, is NBA 2K. Create a player. Basically, I create this freak athlete that goes from being an undrafted bum to the best player in the league. And it made me think... What if God does? God was doing this with me, like create a human, and he's playing as me. First, I think the settings are very off. I'm pretty sure it's it's set to very hard hard mode because just getting out of bed in the morning is an event. My entire body feels like it was infused with with old dried wood, like a dollar store Wolverine. Second, I'm pretty sure eating and sleeping are like mini games. That he plays all the time to gain XP because that's all I do. And when it comes to dialogue with other people, he is just trying to make make it as awkward and make sure I don't get laid. <laughs> Which I know I'm not the only character in the game that he's playing with, and he is definitely spending a lot of money on upgrades for a lot of other people. But for me, he's just likely seeing how far he can get by grinding and not spending a dime. So that's something. I don't know. Probably won't use this. This is probably just a test. Because when I when I do my, my thing, when I do my thing, I want to do my thing like this. I want to get up and talk and point at things and be inspirational about life in general. Because life is amazings. And people can have things like posters on the wall they can have computers you can have all kind of, I got shoes on um, you can have whatever you want man it's life motivation for the day enjoy hope you enjoyed that I know I did all right so I guess I'll record dead art now I got all that nonsense out of the way this is the Nonsense Channel. Welcome to Nonsense.